Well, it's martini time again. I'm glad you're here. And uh, I have something. I had a surprise today. I got a call from uh, the jewelers and said, come get your, your uh, watch. And uh, my father died in 1994. And uh, I, I found this. Uh, I got his watch. <laughs> and it was a little... Uh, it was a good, you see, it's, of course, it's backwards here. It's not really like that. But this is a Elgin uh, pocket watch that uh, his grandmother gave to him in 1929 when he graduated from Annapolis. And, uh, and it's got my initials on the back because I'm a junior. So, there's, so I have my own initials on it. And I had it restored for two or three hundred dollars. And then uh, I had picked up my pants upside down and dropped it on the floor and it broke and I discovered that you can't drop these things so that uh, I had it, I got that fixed and then I had it in my pocket and something hit the crystal and broke that so I just <laughs> so the jeweler called me and he says I've got it back I found a crystal for your pocket watch so I was pleased to get uh, my father's watch back in my pocket and the story behind this is that uh, his aunt, his aunt uh, they called her Gussie, uh, gave it to him. And she, her story was that she was a 19-year-old uh, girl in Germany in, in, uh, around the time of the gold rush and got on a uh, sailing ship and went all the way around Cape Horn, which was a very dangerous voyage, all the way around to San Francisco. And she, uh, this was during the gold rush in California. She married a, a prospector. And he uh, struck it rich, so they part. They split the money and parted ways, and he lost his, and she went to uh, Pocatello, Idaho, and, and bought uh, boarding houses. And so uh, she rescued my father, who uh, uh, was in Prescott, Arizona, when his father had was injured in a, a mining accident. And so they were in poverty down there, and she went down and rescued him and brought him up to Pocatello, <clears throat> where he... Uh, uh, grew up and earned and earned scholarships to uh, University of Idaho and then a commission to the academy and th this was this is what she gave him uh, when he graduated from Annapolis and uh, these are very these are like uh, jewels these things I don't know if you can see it or not but they they just the, the engraving in them and uh, and of course you have to wind it every day uh, that's what we're not used to and uh, so it has a lot of uh, symbolic and, and uh, emotional uh, meaning for me rather than just uh, telling time because I could pull my cell phone out of my pocket <coughs> to tell time. But this, uh, this, this idea of, <coughs> excuse me, let me drink. <coughs> this idea of getting a timepiece when you graduate. I found to be interesting because uh, my wife was telling me a story about uh, growing up here in Blackstone and when she uh, and, and we were talking about her friends and she said well the first time I met my friend her name was Paige uh, when I saw this uh, new girl in the uh, uh, schoolyard she had a watch and I thought that was so amazing that a child you know a, girl, a child uh, I guess the elementary school could have a watch. Uh, and so uh, uh, that was the first time she had ever seen a child with a watch. So my wife did get a watch when she graduated. So it was always the tradition that when that getting a watch was a was a, a gift for a passage. Uh, now you have uh, hope I don't drop this while I keep carrying around here. But when you get a watch, it's like you 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 are given control of your time now. You don't have to run by someone else's time. Uh, you can keep time. You can wind it. You Time is now yours. Time is in the palm of your hand. And uh, we live in a civilization, uh, especially the Germans, <laughs> that is run by time. It's very efficient. Everything is very click, click, click. Uh, trains, everything is wrong. Running on time is very important. So keeping in alignment with time is very important. And we're always out of sync with time. I was talking about this uh, this this morning 
in uh, Buddha's in your landfill, which I hope you took into. But this uh, this idea of all we, of uh, being in sync with time and being out of sync with time is is part of our lives, you see. And I was thinking today. <clears throat> Well, this, you know, the, about, the, about the digital watches, we lose this now. Uh, digital watches uh, don't, uh, are just numbers, okay? And we, we, use, we lose the mandala uh, with the digital watch. The mandala is the circle, and we have the center, <clears throat> which anchors the hands. And this is after, was, was modeled after the sundial. Uh, basically, it's a sundial that's, that's made mechanical. So the hand centered in the center, circle around in a circle. And we don't think of time this way. You see, we think of time as being horizontal, and we've got to go from past to future. But this mandala here means that there is, there is, two, there is two views of time. There's the view of time from the periphery, where the hours are, and where you look at what time is it. You, you notch your day by the minutes and hours, you know, and it goes around and, and you think in terms of a straight line, but the heart of time is, is the center and that's not moving. So here we have the, the time of the mind, which is going in uh, past and future, and we have the, the time of the heart, which is not moving, you see, and it's all right here. Uh, the time of the heart is timeless. And we sense this, but we can't get in touch with it because we are in, it's kind of like we took the, the numbers of time and lined them up like a ruler. So we're chasing time or running from time or whatever. But all the while, we're at the center here that is time, and time goes around us. Isn't that interesting? You see, and it's all right here in these watches. And, you, and they're all <clears throat> mechanical and very precise. They're, they're, um, there, you, in fact, when I had this one repaired, he had, they had to send it to some old guy in Florida who still knew how to fix them. Your local jewelers don't know how to do that, you see. And most of them don't fix watches. They just throw them away and you buy a new one. So our, our idea of time has changed. And this, <clears throat> but we should not lose the meaning to the center of the timepiece. And also the idea that you have, that you have time in your hands that you can hold time, that you are the master of time, not time is the master of you. You are the master of time. And when we live from the center, as well, we have to live on the periphery because we have to catch a bus and we have to go to school and, and we have to live in time. But if we lose the center, we feel uh, dominated and run by time. And we're always catching up, you see, or avoiding it or something. We're always out of sync. You know, and that's because we've lost the center, which is timeless. So this is kind of like the tent pole, you see, uh, that holds up the tent of space-time. And when we lose that center, in which our culture has, because we're living entirely in time now, uh, we, we, we lose that center, we lose, it's kind of like a compass with a foot here, and, and this foot is at the center, and this draws the circle around it, you see. But when we lose that foot and put both of them in time, now we've lost our bearings and we're kind of like lost in an ocean of time. And we always feel um, not caught up. We're always behind. We're always exhausted. Um, we're always on a treadmill. All these images you see uh, basically come from our loss of center. So this is why people meditate. Uh, one, of the, one of the functions of meditation is it restores center. Because when you sit, and you don't have to be a Buddhist or anything. I mean, you just, just if you sit in the backyard and just sit and let sounds and time go around you and not chase it, not, not be, be after naming everything. Uh, in the center, you're still. There's nothing moves in the center. So this is the heart, and this is what we have to get back in contact with, you see, is restoring the center. So let that be our... Uh, martini thought for the day and I wish you the best of times okay <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow evening